Hey guys, Kevin here. Let's have a look at numbers and strings. So, in the previous video, uh, we took the example where we added two numbers A and B. Now, there are multiple operations which can be performed on two variables. So, I have listed them here. Uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication. Now, division is a special case uh, where you the answer that you receive is always a float value. So, let's say you divided 11 by uh, 5. You should The answer should be 2.2, right? Uh, in C++, however, what used to happen was that when you would divide something, you would always receive an integer answer. And since 2.2 uh, .2 is not an integer, you would receive the answer as 2, right? Uh, over here, no matter, even if it's like a perfect division, if it's like 10 by 2, you will receive the answer as 5.0. It's always a floating value. Uh, next, you have flow division. What flow division is? It's basically like the division that happened in C++. Let's say the answer was 2.2. .2. You, you remove the point 0.2 and you get the integer that is 2. You get the uh, smallest integer uh, near to the answer. Alright. Uh, then you have modulus. Alright. So what modulus does is it gives, you the, it gives you the remainder. So 11 by 5, 1 should be the remainder and 1 is given as the answer. Power is simple. 2 raised to power 3 is 8. 10 raised to power 3 is 1000. Something like that. Alright. So let's go to our uh, collab file. And... Uh, let's create a new section uh, let's give a title and let's name it numbers right um, in in a collab uh, you get these drop downs whenever you create a section so we'll be creating these drop downs in the entire course there will be one python file at the end i'll link uh, i'll give you the link to it so let's just write numbers over here let's create a code cell all right and let's uh, ask for input from the user so uh, we'll just copy this from the last video all right a and b uh, now let's do print a plus b right let's just copy this and let's paste multiple times let's do a minus multiplication division flow division uh, modulus and uh, power power is double asterisk all right uh, if i were to run this let's say i enter the number as uh, 10 and the second number as 4 10 plus or 14 10 minus 4 6 10 4 is 40 10 divided by 4 2.5 uh, 10 divided by 4 when it's uh, you just remove the 0.5 and you get the flow division that is 2. Uh, 10 by 4 is 8 times uh, 4 times 2 that is 8 plus 2. So 2 is the remainder. So 2 gets shoot down as modulus. And 10 is 4 is again uh, 10,000. Alright. Uh, I'll just make this clear as well. C equals to A slash slash B. That is your flow division. And if I were to do print type of C. Let's take the same example 10 and 4. Yeah, the class is. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, we were proving the point that division is gives you a floating value. So 10 and 4 over here. Yeah, it's a float. Right. So that's done. And uh, I think we can move on to strings. So. Now, we had a look at strings also in the previous video. Uh, now, how can you define strings? First of all, let's just create a, another section. Uh, you can do this along with me as well. So, like while I'm coding, uh, you could open it on a second device or in another window. And you could also write this code, uh, code. So, if I want to declare a string, let's say name. So, name equals to Kevin. All right. You could also declare this with single quotes. So, you could also do it as name Kevin. All right, both of them are fine. Uh, let's say I want to do, uh, if I want to write something like this, I want to write Kevin's, all right? So let's name this name underscore one. Now, if I want to do this, there are two options. First one is that I do something like this. I do Kevin, all right? If I were to do this, oh, my bad, nah. Yeah, if I were to do this, and if I were to print uh, name, underscore one uh, you will see that the answer would be proper all right another thing that i could do is 
that uh, let's say that this was also a quote and this all this was also a quote this would now throw an error all right so what you can do is you can put a back backslash right and then you can uh, like that you can put the slash s into it sometimes let's say you are defining the code with a double quote all right and you also want to put a double quote over here all right you want to quote a statement inside it again you can use a backslash all right that also works perfectly next thing is a uh, print all right we discussed that uh how can we con uh, yeah how can we separate the lines so let's say i wanna uh write uh, kevin in one line and then my surname that is kari in another line so what i could do is i could name underscore two and kevin all right if i put a slash n and then if i write kari over here and if i were to print it Kevin Karya in two different times, right? So uh, that's an uh, important thing. Um, now, when I want to concate two strings, what is concatenation? Uh, let's say if I want to, uh, if I have one string called name, another string called surname, uh, two variables, and then if I want to write it, Kevin space Karya, I could use the plus operator for it. So what I can do is let me, uh, let's put surname equals to Karya. And let me make this first name. All right. First name is Kevin. Second name is Katrina. So my total name should be first name plus surname. Or I should write last name just for the content. Now, if I were to print print name, I would receive Kevin Karya. Simple, right? Kevin Karya with no spaces inside. Uh, one more thing: if you want to separate something, you can just put a normal print with nothing inside, and you'll get a common empty line. Right, so that can be done as well. This to you know, so, so that we can separate the cases. Now, in uh, this is concatenation. Now, I could also do one more thing. I could write three times first name plus last name. What this will do is it will multiply my name three times. So Kevin, 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 plus Karya. So Kevin, 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 Karya. All right. So that's how you can uh, concatenate, concatenate strings. Uh, and repeat with a asterisk. Uh, if I were to write, if I were to write that uh, mm, full name equals Kevin, and then if I were to write Karya like this, all right, there's no problem with this. Even if you leave it like this, and if I were to uh, I have to do this and run it. Uh, there has to be a space over here. So if I were to separate, uh, if I were to write two two strings separated by a space like this, uh, I would receive. Uh, they would automatically get concatenated. I don't need to write plus or minus. All right. Uh, yeah. Now one important thing is uh, let's do one more thing. Uh, let's do the len function on the string. So if I were to write length of full name, uh, let me put this at the end. Again, we are gonna print an empty line. Uh, let's paste the length over here. If I were to run this, I would get the name that is ten letters, Kevin and Karya. Uh, now, uh, if you have, if you are familiar with the concept of arrays, let me just make a new code thing. All right, uh, indexing. All right, what is indexing? Uh, you might ask. So, uh, if you are familiar with arrays, let's say I have an array with five elements. The first element will be given the index zero. Second will be given first one, th uh, and so on. Right? So zero, one, two, three, four. That's how counting in coding works. So if I were to write uh, name equals to Kevin Karya, all right. Uh, and if I were to write name and in a square bracket, uh, let's say three, 
so that should be the fourth letter if i were to print that yeah you got i that is the fourth letter because index three letter number four all right so that's how indexing works uh it's similar to arrays uh arrays in c plus plus all right another thing is called slicing all right so in slicing what you do is you do the same thing but you enter two terms so three you put a colon and then you write let's say uh eight so yeah as you can see in car is print <laughs> all right uh so let me just write a print statement over here and an important thing in this is that let's say you have the beginning term and you have the last term the beginning term gets printed and all the terms up to the last term get printed so 3 4 5 6 7 will be printed 8 won't be printed in this all right another thing for slicing that can be done is uh, you can just leave it at 3 you can leave this empty and what it will do is it will not print the first four elements it will print the rest of them all so yeah all of them are printed and the same can be done in reverse order as well so if i were to leave the first element empty then write eight over here it will print everything before that right the first uh, eight elements will be printed first yeah eight elements um yeah so that's pretty much it for strings uh, another thing in arrays was that what you could do was you could take a name and then let's say i take the fifth element fifth index and i replace it with a uh, uh, l all right this can't be done in string because strings are immutable right what is immutable uh, they can't be changed once they have been defined they can't be changed until unless you rename them so this is never possible all right uh, this is not possible negative indexing all right uh, the way we give this positive indexes we can similarly give negative indexes as well so oh negative indexing so over here what happens is that uh, if i were to print and write uh, name and then a minus four in it what will happen is that it will look at it like this this is zero this is one this is two this is three and so on the normal indexing and then over here what will happen is because zero is already occupied by the capital k minus one will be given to a all right so where you used to count from zero one two three four you count from the right hand side but from one not from zero this will be minus one this will be minus so this will be minus one minus two minus three minus four minus five minus six up to minus ten all right where you used to count zero one two three four up to uh, 9 uh, for negative indexes it will be minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 up to minus 10 so if you have to write print name minus 4 it would do it it would give us uh, the a that is this a i can also slice it using uh, negative indexes so if i would write minus 4 to minus 1 it would print ari all right it's just that and yeah it works perfectly fine so yeah that's your last concept covered for uh, strings now let's move on thanks for watching guys leave a like if you enjoyed the video subscribe to see more of such tutorials give me a follow on twitter at the red kevin peak idea and if you have any queries feel free to send an email at ask.kevinpeakidea at the gmail.com